Hi, so in today's video, I'm going to be going over how you can manage your local um, FortiGate firewall using Terraform. Now, Terraform is a great way to kind of manage a lot of infrastructure in an automated way, such as, you know, keeping a repeatable format on how you build things out. And that's what we're going to do today, is I'm going to create an object in Terraform um, inside my firewall, and then I'm going to show you how you can authenticate in and continue to keep building off of that as well. So if this is a production network, you know, I would advise to kind of keep caution on some of the commands you put in, um, although we're only going to be affecting uh, my dev environment, you want to be cautious of, of that when you're running through this lab. So when I'll sign in here, we're going to be using Terraform's Fortit iOS provider, and there's some guides in here on how you can create your API tokens for that, but I'm going to walk you through how to do that now. So if you log in, to your FortiGate firewall under system administrators we're going to create a new REST API admin so we're going to give this a name we're just going to call it Terraform API admin you can put some comments in there if you want administrator profile so I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call this Terraform you know call it new whatever you want to call it there and we're going to give it rewrite access. So I'm just going to do everything here. You may want to skinny this down. Like you may not need to have administrator users or maintenance, things like that. So kind of just based on your um, preference there. But I'm going to delete this profile when done anyway. So I'm going to hit OK there and then choose that profile. I'm not going to use private key. I'm exchange um, or integration for this. So I'm not going to need that as far as any certificate based authentication. And then under trusted host, we're basically you're going to put in your um, DHCP or static IP address you're coming from. So if I open up mine, and looks like my IP address is got a lot in here. Let's see, where's the Wi-Fi? 192.168.1.1. One nine two. Let's say that one dot one twenty two. Okay, one twenty two slash thirty two. And hit OK. And then you're going to need this key. So keep this key in a safe place. So I'm just going to open up a Notepad, save that in there, and then hit close. And now that that's created, we can get into setting up our um, Terraform code. So with Terraform, um, this is really simple. I'm going to create, I'm going to use VS Code here. I'm going to open up a new, I'm going to open up a folder. And I'm going to make a new folder in here called FortiGate. And open that up. Now inside of there, I'm going to open up a new file and call this main.tf. And I'm going to keep everything in here, but some people may want to variableize things, put their providers in a different section. But I'm not going to worry about that too much here. So now what we need to do is just put in our required providers and your credentials. So Terraform required providers. Then we're going to have for iOS, and then that's going to equals, and then our source is going to be the for the dev for the iOS, and we get this from here. So if we go back to overview for the dev, uh, where is that? So yeah, so for the net dev. And then for the IO, for, for the iOS is what we're going to be using. So boom, boom. So that's our source equals and then close all those. Those are all closed out. Okay, now we're going to define our provider. So provider is FORTIOS. And this is where we're going to need like our host name. 
So the host name is going to be your IP address to your um, gateway or firewall, whatever you call it there. So Mars 192.168. Nine nine token is going to equal what we saved here. And then insecure we're going to set to true. All right, and that's uh, because I'm not doing like any certificate based authentication on this and you may not as well either, but if you do, you can go into the documentation and um, Terraform and it can t walk you through how to set that part up as well. So now I'm going to do is create a resource is which is an object here. So I'm going to go into documentation and if you look up object, you can see that there's you know firewall object address and you'll get these so here it says this will be deprecated and replaced by the new resource which is for the iOS firewall address okay so now we're going to copy that so instead of using this old one we're going to go ahead and find a new version of this okay so here we go so basically what we're doing what we're going to do is take this resource block example and we're going to make it work for what we need so for this I'm just going to call it um, you know test address it can be anything uh, disable routing for the port so this is going to depend on what your ports called so mine the one I want to associate it with is let's find my interfaces it's one I associated with the LAN so here I'm going to call this LAN that color is fine. I think there's some color schemes that this references. I'm going to leave that as is. So I'm just going to uh, create just a very basic IP address here. So subnet range, I'm going to do, let's say, 192.168.1.0. Or let's do 10.0. 255.255.0. And then keep all this the same here. The name, we're going to call it test address as well. And I think that's good. Oh, let's do starting IP address. 168. Dot one dot, or no, 10.50. Okay, so we're creating a, a firewall object called test address. With an IP address of 10.192.168.10.50 in this subnet range. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to open up a terminal from this directory. Okay, so now we need to run our Terraform init so it can pull down the provider. Okay, now we can see that our modules and um, things like that have downloaded. Then we can run a Terraform plan. This is going to make sure it can actually even talk to our um, firewall. So we can see that it does. If it wasn't able to, I'll show you what error you would get. So I'm just going to back out of that and do a Terraform plan again. So as you can see, it's not able to authenticate. So it says authorization required. Let's go ahead and put that back in there. And another Terraform plan. Okay, now we're seeing that there's one thing to be added, which is our test address here. So I'm going to go in and do a Terraform apply. And I'm going to do an auto approve. This is basically just going to say approve without having to say yes. Now this says error creating firewall address internal server error. Internal error when processing the request. So let's see what's going on here. Let's try. Unless I got a new name. Or unless that name's already taken. Let me make sure. Some of the times the years can be kind of vague. Uh, 
Yep, so I already have that name in there. So what I'm going to do is let's change this name to Trust Address 2. So let's run that again. Okay, and it's created. So now if I do another refresh on my addresses, I should see another one called test address 2. So now you can see how easy it is to actually, you know, build out different objects. And there's more stuff you can do within this. And the great thing about Terraform is you can kind of now keep this as your source of truth. So instead, if you want people to actually, you know, build things the same way, you know, we can essentially come in and, you know, build a, you know, another, you know, subnet or, you know, object within this subnet. So now we're going to go 10.51, save that, and then auto approve. Now we got another address, which... I need to refresh this real quick. I'm going to test again. And now we have three. So as you can see, the details is just, you know, if we go into the actual thing, we can see that 7 IP range is 10.0.255.255.0. Interface LAN, IP, net mask. So now that's just a way to kind of now just keep your um, uh, firewall addresses and, you know, things like that in a more automated format. So if you do need to change things like delete stuff, it's a lot easier to kind of manage as far as like putting this into like source control and stuff like that. So if I want to remove that, I can essentially just go in, and save that, and then you can run another Terraform apply. And it just destroyed the one that I had removed. So that should be gone. And let's see, unless there's like a bug in the deletion process. I thought I'd delete. Okay, so it is gone. So yep, that's it. So now, yeah, if you have any other questions in regards to managing your firewall or uh, FortiGate firewall using Terraform, let me know. I'd be free to, you know, do some trial runs or test of other scenarios you may have. Again, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment down below. Check out my blog, letmetechyou.com. You know, like and subscribe to this channel. I'll be doing more videos of the sort. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.